I want people to understand that we are destroying our planet with our own negligees, and I found the perfect expert to teach me how to get my point across. I like these chairs. One thing I remember about these seats, though, is that when you fart in them, it makes a really loud noise. Hey. Alana, you won an award for your presentation on the environment. Why did you choose that topic? I chose global warming because a lot of people have heard about it, but they don't know what to do about global warming. And the purpose of my speech was to inform them that it's a huge thing. And I believe that if we can all learn and understand global warming, we can come together as one and we can make a difference. You're a dreamer, huh? I am. <laughs> You're a regular uh, JFK, aren't you? Greatest speech giver of all time. He once said, Ich benign Berliner. Do you know what that means? No. It means, have a great Easter in Chinese. Is it a good idea to use pictures and visual aids in my speech? Well, if you're allowed to, yeah, because I wasn't allowed to use visual aids. So you just had to use your voice. And my t-shirt. And your t-shirt. I love marbles. That's a great shirt. The earth. What should I do when I give a speech? Should I be angry or should I be calm? You should be calm. Okay. And what about my body language? What should I be doing? Um, you can use your hands. Really just get into it and be yourself. Get into it and yeah. be myself. So yeah. a lot of like this and like that and a lot of like flair. Is that what you're saying? No, not really. The like, environment is so precious. So you don't really necessarily need to do that, but oh, okay. just hand motions to explain better. And what should I do with my voice? Um, with your voice, just... Should I talk like this ever? Or should <laughs> it be down here? Right in the middle. Thank you. I knew that. Yeah. And should I maintain eye contact? Yes. Okay. But don't be looking at just, like, one person. Don't do this. This is too much, probably. Yeah. Eye contact. You okay. can look at one side and then the other side. Look that and way the and middle. then that way. Well, and in the like middle. That. No? This would never work, right? No. Okay. Right. Do you ever get nervous giving a speech? Uh, yeah, sometimes. But I would just picture everyone in their underwear. I wish I thought of that when I was a kid giving a speech in school. <laughs> I peed my pants. So, Alana, do you have any questions for me? Um, yes. Why do you want to do your speech about the environment? Because people are destroying the planet! That's it. That's it? Nothing else? Well, I like being in the spotlight. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, not really. You seem pretty dedicated to the environment. Yeah, I am. Hmm. I don't have a boyfriend. No, I don't. Bet you do. No, I don't. You're lying. Don't lie on TV. Well, well, then you don't know anything about television. That's why it was created. To perpetuate lies. What's your favorite television show? Favorite it's okay. Show. You, can, you, can, you can say it. <laughs> well, I haven't watched your show yet, but my favorite... Pardon me? I haven't watched your show. Okay, forget it. We'll move on to another show. question. Okay. Alana, thank you very much for helping me with my presentation. I got a funny feeling that the speech I'm going to be speaking will be spoken with the best speaking ability that I've ever spoken with. Thank you. You're welcome, John. You're really nice. You're really nice, too. I know I am. Bye. A unicorn, look. Thank you. Please. If you must, if you must, get it out. Okay, yeah, you've stopped. Okay, good. <clears throat> good day. My name is TV's John Doerr, and I don't want to alarm you, but what I'm about to show you will blow the brains right out of your skull. Okay? This is planet Earth. Some call her Mother Earth. Now, very few of us would ever dream of abusing our own mother, 
and yet we treat Mother Earth like the bitch tried to sell us on the black market for a bag of crack cocaine. We are destroying our planet with the cars we drive, with the things we make, and with the things we throw away. All of this pollution is causing what I have termed global heating, and the results are catastrophical. You know, a great man once said that a picture is worth 10,000 words. So I'll let the pictures speak for themselves, only not literally. Our exploding population and continual reliance on technopoly is causing widespread pollution and devastating climate change and, in at least one case, AIDS. Which brings me to our first option, Plan A. We have to come up with new ideas. We have to start thinking outside the box. For instance, sharks swimming in our oceans basically do nothing. Realistically, they could be eating our garbage. We could come up with alternative, eco-friendly fuel sources, such as human fart gas. But the real uncomfortable factuality is that we are a virus. And like all viruses, we must be controlled. This brings me to a solution I call Plan B. Sterilization. Beginning today in this very room, every man will be castrated so as not to create more humans that will place further burden on our precious planet that is already pushed to the brinking point of thin ice. And just to be careful, women will be castrated as well, as shown here. <laughs> Guys, this is hilarious. Great job. This is going to make it look like I actually think that girls have nut sacks too. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Guys, girls don't have nut sacks. You should know that by now. Some girls might. No, they don't. No questions. I just wanted to say hi. 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 Okay. Okay, hello. We've done it. Thank you, and good speed. You suck, TV's John Doerr. Sure, you're good looking and you have an unconscionable level of talent, but you don't know what the heck you're talking about. Nothing in that presentation is based on any facts, you, you self-indulgent bearded nincompoop. No, I won't take it back. Sharks eating garbage, no more breeding? Nuts to you, John Doerr! Nuts to you! Boo!